Boxing Bulletin, your host, Dolfo. Uh, last night was a great fight between Eric Morales, Marcos Madonna, um, Guerrero versus Cat Cedis. Who else was there? Uh, James Kirkland versus the Japanese guy. Sorry, I couldn't remember his name. And, um, and Paulie Malinaji versus Jose Miguel Cotto. This was a good fight. Um, let's talk about Guerrero versus Cat Cedis. Guerrero came out strong, accurate, on point, connecting with all of his punches, uh, looking superior to Cat Cedis. He, he did a better job with Cat Cedis than Juan Manuel Marquez did, and now they're putting him up against Juan Manuel Marquez for the, for the lightweight championship. This may be the only guy that could possibly beat Juan Manuel. I think Juan Manuel is a better fighter, but this is a younger guy and he's good, he's strong, he's on point, he's got a lot to fight for. It might, it might be a problem. Morales versus Madonna. This was an amazing fight. Morales was the older guy fighting the younger, the younger guy. Uh, Max Schmeling versus Joe Lewis all over again. And Morales completely neutralized Madonna's power. He was able to, to, to roll with the punches and, and to, uh, absorb his power and take it. It was amazing. He had his eye lumped up in the first round. It was terrible that he had his eye lumped up so bad, completely closed. If he didn't um, get his eye, if his eye wasn't swollen, I think he would have completely dominated the fight. He definitely was robbed because he he won. He beat Madonna in the fight, but um, you know, it just uh, it was it was a it was a good fight though. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Kirkland. Oh man, my man, James Kirkland. Huge disappointment, right when you start to promote somebody and put them out there, they let you down. James Kirkland switched trainers from Ann Wolf. He was looking good under Ann Wolf, but the past few fights he's been looking shaky and now he was dropped three times in one round by a bum, a guy that wasn't supposed to um, even touch him. And, oh man, it's terrible. Um, oh, this is the biggest upset in boxing for the whole year, James Kirkland. He had 27 wins, 24 knockouts, undefeated, walks in and gets dropped by some bum. And the ref, the ref might have robbed him when stopping the fight, but I mean, something's definitely going on with him. I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely disappointing. He needs to get his act together and go back to Ann Wolf. Oh man, I know Ann Wolf is like so upset right now. He just messed up his whole, almost his whole career. Like, it's, oh, it's terrible. Um, where, where else we going? Frock versus Glenn Johnson. Um, I'm gonna put a prediction out there. Frock is great. I, I like Frock as a fighter. Um, I'm gonna go with Glenn Johnson only because he's used to fighting at a higher weight and his experience level. But other than that, it's anyone's fight. What else? What else? What else? Gamboa versus Lopez. I'm going with Gamboa if that fight happens. Uh, Bradley is scheduled to fight Amir Khan if Amir Khan gets uh, past Mikulski. Now, Mia Khan is a better technical fighter, but I don't think he has the the will, the fortitude to get past uh, Bradley. I just don't think he, he's going to be able to do it. I think he's going to lose there. Um, but he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. He's a very good fighter. And he's um, and he's getting better, you know. I don't know who else, what else we got. Um, a watch list. Okay. These are some fighters that you should look out for. No one's talk about this guy. No one speaks about this guy. David Lemieux. Lemieux. From, uh, from Canada. This guy's got like 24 wins, no defeats, 22 knockouts. He's doing it. He's walking through everybody. He makes it look easy. Uh, Saul Alvarez, everybody knows he's a problem. He's got a lot of power. And he's, he's uh, a super welterweight right now. He's taking over. Um, Nonito Denea, De oh man. This guy, he, got, he has to just gain some more weight and come up in the weight classes because he's still a bantam weight, but he's taking over. You could, uh, it's obvious to see his talent. Uh, an Andre Ward, of course. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, we're still waiting for the uh, Pacquiao Mosley. Starting to look into the 24/7s, waiting to see what, go what goes on there. Um, Mosley's talking like he's going to try to knock Pacquiao out, and everybody's trying to say that this is still a good fight. It, come on, man. you know, Pacquiao throws a, a 120 punches around. Mayweather throws something like 80 or, or 85 or something, depending. Mosley couldn't handle Mayweather's output. How do you think he's going to handle uh, Pacquiao? And, and Mosley doesn't have the defense. He doesn't have the he doesn't have the reflexes. He doesn't have it. I mean, come on. Everybody knows. You know, whatever. It's a, that's that's bad. You know. So boxing bulletin. Dolfo, we here. Holla.